Another important property of uh, Fourier transform is time shift. Uh, we have here x of t minus c. So the, it's shifted by c units towards the right. Well, so what is Fourier transform? The first step is just to find Fourier transform for x of t only, which would be equal to x of omega. And then you multiply it by e to the power of minus j c, the units of uh, uh, time shift, omega. Let's just take a simple example. First, what about this uh, rectangle pulse? It's not shift or anything. It's symmetric about the y-axis. So you can say that uh, that's zero. That's where is the axis of the function or the signal x of t. And we know that for the pu rectangular pulse of width tau time t centered on the y-axis, the Fourier transform of the signal will be equal to tau sinc omega tau divided by 2 pi. In this example, tau is equal 4. So you have x of omega will be equal 4 sinc 4 omega over 2 pi, which is equal to 4 sinc 2 omega over pi. That's x of omega. Now, let's look for the signal. This signal, uh, let's call it equal to uh, y1 of t. So it looks exactly like x of t, even the same width, but start from 0 up to 4. So tau is equal to 4. But look at the center of the pulse. The center of the pulse, it was at 0. The original uh, signal was at 0. But now it's at 2. So it's shifted by 2 units. Even you look at 2, it becomes 4. So you shift it towards the right by 2 units. So you can say that y of t is the same as x of t. You have it in the top, except only it will be minus 2. Y is shifted by 2 units towards the right. According to the rule that we have here for the time shift, we are going just to find x of omega. So x of omega already got it. That's x of omega. So it will write just for sinc 2 omega over pi. I'm using the simplified form here. All right. And then shift it by negative 2. And that's negative c. So it would be e minus j c, which is 2 omega. So that would be y1 of t. Okay. So... If you understand that, let's just do another example for another rectangular pulse. This signal, call it y2 of t. What we observe in this one? Well, the width is equal to, from 0 to 2. And the center here at 1. So it's shifted and 1 towards the right. So it's shifted by 1. <clears throat> so you can write that uh, this y of 2t the, sh the, the signal before shifted, the width is equal to, you write like that, tau, which is 2, sinc, omega tau, 2 omega over 2 pi. All right, and that would be equal to 2, sinc, omega over pi. That's for a signal just like that. start from negative 1 to 1. The width is equal to, but centered at 0, at the y-axis. So that would be its uh, Fourier transform. But it's shifted by 1 unit. So will be like the same thing here, 2 sinc omega over pi e minus j, c is equal 1 times omega will be minus omega that will be y 2 of omega well there is an error here that's not time domain that's a, in omega should be right, right like that uppercase letter and function of omega that's the Fourier transform and that's Fourier transform for 
the second signal here. If you add both signal, so you have from zero to two, from zero to two, you have one and one, you get two. And then from two to four, you have one in the Y1 and zero in Y2 and you add them, you get one. So you get signal like that. So if the question started like that, Y of T, so you divide it into two signal, like what we did, and then you can find Y of omega will be equal Y1 of omega plus Y2 of omega will be equal to the first one, four sync, four sync, two omega over pi times E minus J to omega plus Y2, which is equal to sync omega over pi E minus G omega. So we apply it here, uh, two things, time shift and linearity two.